That's right. Hey, what's up, guys? <clears throat> Tuesday, the 12th of September, and um, I'm gonna meet up with Andrew at the Gym Victory to uh, do some chess. And um, I think today I wanna, if, if I don't have any uh, pain or anywhere, or better, if I don't have uh, any pain anywhere, I'm gonna try to go. Uh, some classic bench press. Try to go heavy. Yep. And I think um, having some vice, some vice in the blood, is gonna help that. And uh, I don't know if any of you guys uh, already know, but I'm part. I'm part of a G code nutrition. You know, and. Um, I like to say that I'm part of because I feel like I'm not sponsored by them. I feel that it's way more than that. I feel like I'm a part of it. With my friend Greg and Travis, Dirk Malone, and all the guys involved. And uh, I can't wait to meet up with all those guys uh, in Vegas. And uh, the cool thing with the uh, Vice is um, there's no like shady like uh, ingredients in it. You know, like sometimes like. Uh, like there's stuff she don't even understand, or, or like some um, they try to mimic like uh, some kind of like street drug sounding name like DMA something methylone or whatever. And um, the stimulant in it is just uh, coffee and caffeine. So there, you you won't get like all jittery and like uh, crazy uh, anxiety. You know sometimes you would take those pre workouts. And you have like this uh, post, uh, you know, after the workout, you have like anxiety or whatever. Me, I can really notice it because uh, I have bruxism. Like my, I, I, t I tend to clench my uh, jaw when I'm like nervous, or whatever, or tired. And um, a lot of pre-workout made me do that after, but this one does it. And um, another cool thing is that you have 45 servings when you buy the tri pack. And it comes in three as a tri pack, which means there's three flavors, 15 servings each. So instead of buying one flavor, you have like uh, you have to go with that for like the whole month. You have like three flavors. You can just rotate or mix them up if you want. You have like a uh, you have legend lime, which is like a Mountain Dew lime uh, inspired cherry swola, which is a um, cherry cola flavor, and um, grinding grape. Just like a like a grape uh, crush, you know. So uh, it's pretty cool. I like it. And I like the ingredients in it. If you guys are gonna go on their website, gcodenutrition.com, you can get it, of course. And uh, creatine, strudel mallet, beta alanine, ar arginine, AKG, taurine. So like it's a uh, to recharge ATP in between the sets and to have a bit more performance sets and get better pumps. That's what it is. And um, beetroot powder and fucking sea salt. That's that's one thing I thought I was cool. Like, wow, you actually put sea salt in there because I'm always like, uh, I, tell, I tell my clients and stuff, and uh, I do it too the meal before I'm gonna go work out. I always put more salt than usual because I want the salt is. A big factory when you get a pump. Anyway, I'll tell you more about the product later. So for now, let's just uh, focus on the road, <laughs> right? And um, meet you at the gym and uh, do some bench press. Yep. Andrew, warming up with two plates. So we're just gonna try to uh, do a bit of a heavy benching today. If uh, feels good I'll do it if it doesn't I'll stop so yeah a little bit of warm up here
down. Yeah, so uh, five place bench. Uh, I didn't do a pause at the bottom, so it's not a real five place, I guess. But I uh, did that on purpose because I want to make sure I, uh, I got it up. And uh, it's a uh, kind of a PR for me to do that. I'm pretty happy, but you know, I, I have lots of respect for powerlifters because just just that, I feel like my chest like took like nothing's blue or anything, but. I feel like uh, something's tight now. I won't be able to do this every week. So I'm doing baby weights for the rest of the workout, eating a little pump. And um, yeah, like in reality, like I shouldn't be doing shit like that. But sometimes, you know, I like to push myself. So I tried that, I did it. And uh, now I'm gonna, <laughs> I feel like I wanna work out light for a little while, but yeah. Andrew eating lettuce. All he eats is lettuce. He's, he's ordering le lettuce on his phone with Uber Eats right now. He's on le lettuce.com. Ordering lettuce, paying with PayPal. I'm gonna do my set now. If you wanna get a, some good lettuce, you go on the lettuce.org, organization for lettuce lovers. And if you use a coupon code NGREW10, you get 10% off the lettuce. <laughs> so, I didn't film the rest of the chest workout, because it was pretty boring, but um, I, I try to be careful for my chest, but I think I'm fine. You know, I, I'll get a little massage and I should be fine. And uh, I saw the uh, steel path yesterday and um, told me to try to do some squats after the, for today. And I, my low back hurts a little bit, but my left leg was the one that's bothering the most. It's my right knee a little bit. It's not like big injuries, but I'm trying to see if, I, uh, if I'm getting better, so I'll, I'm doing a little bit of squat. Test 315. So far, so good. I didn't. Maybe not feel better a little bit. But I felt more of my lower back. So I think the only thing remaining is keep doing what I'm doing for the legs, just lighter stuff, and maybe fix my back somehow. But uh, we'll see what happens next week, this weekend in Vegas. I'll do my best. But the most important thing for me is uh, to just keep improving week by week, month by month. So I'll, I'll play it safe at the league, but if I feel like I can push myself on top exercises, I will. But if I feel that it would be kind of stupid to do so, I won't do it. But, overall I'm improving. So that's the best, so I'll keep uh, doing that. <laughs> okay, the workout is done. And, um, Pretty happy about the five plates, but um, a little bit tight in the chest because of that, so you know, I have to be careful. And I have to admit, miss, it was maybe not the smartest thing to do, but like I said, I like to push myself sometimes to give myself challenges, and today's challenge was that. And now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna. Uh, work a little bit, prepare to prepare the um, my trip for Vegas, prepare some food and things like that. I just got some, I just got some flowers for my girlfriend because I will tell you that that um, when you love somebody, loving is a verb, something you do, 
its actions. And that uh, goes with everything. If you want change in your life, if you want to improve your, for example, your spirituality and you want to be more spiritual or you want to gain some muscles, uh, just wishing is not going to do anything. You got to do actions, concrete actions. So let me tell you, what are going to be your actions today? You know? So let's say, for example, I love my girlfriend. So I will do actions to prove that. You know, just actions to prove it, just so it happens. If I love my mom, I'm gonna call my mom every day. That's what I'm doing, I pretty much call my mom every day. If I'm gonna um, want to lose body fat, I will eat natural foods, you know, and, and exercise. And if I want to gain muscle, I'm gonna go in the gym every day. So those are all actions to uh, go along with what you want. And um, it pretty much goes with everything in life. Like all the actions you're gonna do, there's gonna have uh, consequences. But that, I have learned that, you know, mostly with bad decisions and bad choices and had, had bad consequences. But the other way around is also true. If you only do good actions, even if you don't want to have, you know, even if you're just doing that in general because you're a good person, well, good will be the consequence. You cannot do good actions and have bad consequence. Doesn't make sense. So, if you want to have like a good life and uh, good things coming back to you, good consequences, you got to do good actions. Same for your goals. If you want to reach your goal, you got to do actions that are going to bring those goals to, uh, to life. So, what are, you, what are your actions going to be today? You know, are you gonna go work out after seeing this video? Because you're motivated? Or you're just gonna be motivated and then you're gonna keep on scrolling Instagram and, and scrolling YouTube and things like that and you're not gonna do anything. Actions. Actions speak louder than words, people say that. And um, in French, <laughs> there's a saying that, that's called, um, if folk te butts in, suive te babin means like you need your little boots to follow your lips. Actions, actions, actions. I guess I'm saying, I, I, you know, sometimes when I share stuff like that to uh, people or to you guys, it's just also I'm, I'm just clarifying them in my head. It's a way of getting out of getting them out, you know, because when I speak like that, I it just um, it's also for myself. Because it makes me remember what's the, what I need to do, what's true, what I'm learning. So on that note, enough learning, uh, you know, of like uh, special shit like that. You know, it's time to uh, <laughs> it's time to go eat some food and and uh, it's, you know my week has been pretty good. And uh, yesterday I had a shoot, a photo shoot, my first photo shoot in a long time. That's why you see I don't have any more hair. <laughs> I shaved to look uh, better for the shoot. And um, so here are some clips. Yeah, here are some clips from the shoot yesterday, from uh, behind the scenes. So here are the clips. Yeah, so Andrew, 
asked him, like, usually he gives me meals with the rice and everything, but because I'm going to Vegas, I asked for like my seven ounces, uh, six, seven ounces of meat portions, vacuum seal like that, and I'm gonna smuggle them to the United States. <laughs> meat smuggler. So uh, I'm gonna, I'm not sure if it's uh, to that or not, but I heard a lot of people do, doing it, and and uh, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get one of those like uh, insulated um, aluminum bags from the grocery, you know, to keep things cold with some ice packs. I'm gonna weigh it so it's not too heavy, you know, because I think there's like a 40 pounds limit for the bags, I'm not sure. Anyway, I got some uh, meatballs here, I got some beef here, and um, chicken. And um, I'm gonna bring those, I think I'm gonna bring four, four a day, I guess. So, and uh, what I'm gonna do with there, because I'm uh, gonna stay in a hotel that I think that has a kitchenette. I'm gonna get some rice, my microwaveable rice from Uncle Ben's, and and uh, maybe some spinach or whatever. And I'll make my meals like that, and I'll bring Tupperware. So uh, this is gonna be a little bit about my meal meal prep for the Vegas. Because uh, usually when I used to travel before, I, my diet would go to shit. I you know and when I used to compete and things like that and. Uh, other places than my hometown, of course. So I, I would like uh, it would be kind of hard to. One time, I remember I bought a microwave from Walmart and I just left it in the room. <laughs> I didn't bring it back or anything. And um, and also, what I did before, I had like a George Foreman grill. Just the worst idea ever in the hotel room. Smoke everywhere. Like the thing smells like meat, and people cleaning the room are wondering what the hell happened in here. So the best way I think is, you know, cooking meat takes a while and, you know, in a hotel room it's not the best, so that's why I'm getting this, you know. But, um, you know, there's going to be a microwave there, there's going to be an oven and things like that, so uh, I, sh I should be fine. Because I find if I change too many things, at the same time your body's like trying to adjust, so you're not optimal for training and just feeling good in general. So even when traveling, um, now I try to stay as as on point as possible for the the diet and things like that. It's not going to be perfect, of course, but with a little prep like that, you know, bringing the meat and uh, getting some microwave rice and um, I guess eggs and stuff and over there oatmeal, uh, I'll be fine. Now the only problem is probably going to be getting around Vegas and to the Super League and things like that. I think the gym where it's happening is like 20 minutes away from uh, my hotel. And I don't know how the far the hotel is from the the, the strip. I think the, the, the convention is in the strip. The Olympia is in the strip. I don't know. But um, I guess if I would have a Uber thing, it would work. Or uh, there's another one over there called uh, Lyft with a Y. L-Y-F-T. I don't know how it works, but if... Uh, my friend Greg, maybe he's gonna have a car there, I don't know. So uh, I'll have to get around somehow. There's always the bus, I guess, but <laughs> it's uh, old school. And uh, so that's for the food, I guess. For the supplements, um, I won't have to bring the workout because all the G-Code guys are gonna be there. So I'll be able to uh, have vice over there. And as far as the uh, whey protein, I think I'm gonna bring some uh, some in a Ziploc bag or something. But the, imagine if the customs open up my bag. They'd be like... That, and like, bags of powder. Like, what is this, Monsieur Bayan? What are you doing? What's your, you know? It's okay. But, um... Sometimes you gotta take risk in life. You know? Reasonable risk. Like, uh... Like, benching five plates. I was just doing something off, off camera to make me laugh. Um, yeah, so that was the video for today. I just wanted to show you guys this little meat thing there. Talk a little bit, a bit about advice pre workout. Get it on gcodenutrition.com. And um, yeah, bench press. My legs getting a little bit better. Talk to the car a little bit about the actions that you need to do. So I think. Uh, that's a 
pretty overall like a complete video so take care see you next time and i'm gonna film some stuff in vegas oh subscribe to my channel please ciao <laughs>